Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith, and we are about to do Vulture Movie Playlist. Let's do it. When I am treating myself, I rewatch Raising Arizona. I'm a big Coen Brothers fan, not just in terms of the movies they've made, but also as filmmakers who started before me and kind of uh, blazed a, a trail. And instead of changing so that they could blend with the business, the business slowly just gravitated toward where they were. The movie I think of when I like to wallow in sadness, and I do quite a bit. I'm a middle-aged stoner, so I feel everything, right? But when it comes to crime, man, there's this catharsis. If I want to really go for it, just like, wah! It's watching one of my favorite films of all time, Cinema Paradiso. I remember going to see three times Coal Miner's Daughter with my father. And Coal Miner's Daughter tells the story of young Loretta Lynn. My old man loved country music. I don't know why I hated it when I was a kid because it all sounded so corn poned to me. But once he died, of course, that was the bridge right back to him. It was entered into the National Film Registry the same year as Clerks. And I was so crazy honored, not because Clerks was in, that was awesome, but because I was next to Coal Miner's Daughter, which I had seen so many times and still watch to this day. And she wasn't a crush, she was my girlfriend. We would go to the movies, you know, all the time. Labyrinth, the Jim Henson movie with David Bowie, is a strong memory for me because I missed half of the movie because of teenage petting. It wasn't until Kim and I watched Labyrinth when it came out on video with her parents, and halfway through, all the shit we missed, we started talking about, like, I don't remember this. And I'll never forget her mom being like, well, maybe you shouldn't be making out during the movies, Kimberly Renee. The DVD extras of this movie are better than the movie itself. I'm not a fan of the uh, the Rings movies. I think they're insanely well made, but I didn't really care for the books. Fuck Middle Earth. I mean, I guess that's what it comes down to and shit. Like, you know, no offense. I'm glad people liked it. What I loved about the home videos were uh, Peter Jackson gave you a fucking film school. There's a whole generation of kids that I've encountered, like while I do Q&As or out in the world doing live podcasts or whatnot, who know how to do special effects on their laptops and point to all the extras, the behind the scenes on all the Lord of the Rings DVDs and Blu-rays as their film school. The extras uh, on the movies I spoke about and stuff, available, of course, at Movies Anywhere, man. And the good news is this. Now through April 12th, if you pick from the list of the movies I just spoke about or a deeper list. I give them a list of all the movies like that meant something to me when I, you pick one of those and you buy it, they send you a free movie. Moviesanywhere.com slash bonus offer gets you there. Here's how I know the service was good. My wife, I always have to look at some worried. She'll be like, shut up. She doesn't like me talking about it. But my wife, I was just like, uh, I'm going to do this thing called Movies Anywhere. She was, uh, she was like, what are you talking about? Why are you having a meeting? And I was like, because I'm going to do this thing for Movies Anywhere. And she was like, what's that? And I explained it. And she like never cares about anything I do. She likes me, but she's not like a big Kevin Smith fan. I was like, um, it aggregates all your movies in one place. She goes, finally, you're working with quality. It's literally a quote from my wife. So we got into like a mini argument and then I cried, like I talked about before. But not the good kind of crying that you enjoy, like when you're watching Coal Miner's Daughter. The bad kind of crying. When, you know, you realize that you're as trapped as a coal miner's daughter. <laughs>